I no, I don't necessarily look trans, but uh, I am. I promise. It's weird because two, uh, my two brothers and me are all trans. Okay. Seems like that shouldn't happen. Okay. <laughs> Seems like my parents fucked up somewhere along the way, right? That was not. That was not God's intent to have three trans kids, but here we are. So now at my house, it's just like a, a Freaky Friday Grand Slam. <laughs> it's crazy. We're all just trading clothes. You know, now my parents are just watching all of us turn into each other. <laughs> it's really odd. You know, I don't, I don't look, you know, like a typical woman necessarily. I kind of look like if you put every butch lesbian and a cheese it into the machine from the movie The Fly. You know, like I'm a woman with a dad bod. That's not what you want, you know? Like a dad, it's not even a dad bod. It's like, from neck to waist, I kind of just look exactly like E.T. the extraterrestrial. You know what I mean? Like it's a dad bod, but a dad that survived the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. It's a Vlad bod. I, you know, no, you don't have to feel bad. I, you know, I didn't always know I was trans. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought that I wanted to be Air Bud. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like a golden retriever is really good at team sports. But, you know, I realized that wasn't necessarily feasible, so I, I decided I thought I was gender fluid. I was telling uh, my grandfather that I was gender fluid, and he said, back in my day, gender fluid was just called cum. <laughs> Which is a crazy thing for your grandpa to say to you when you come out to him. Especially because I didn't know they called it come back then. You know, I thought that was like a 90s thing. I didn't, I didn't realize come was invented in the Great Depression along with candy bars to uh, inspire motivation among the unemployed people. You guys get to come now. This, you don't have to play with the ball and the stick anymore. You get to do this other thing now. I just like the idea of cum being invented in the 30s. Uh, it, it, some, I, here's the thing with bottom surgery. Like, if I want to get my dick chopped off, it costs as much as buying, like, a brand new freaking Kia Forte. Okay? You know, I, like, I could probably do it myself right now. Do you want to see it first and then quote me? You know, why is it, th I, I promise it's not 30 grand worth of work, doc. You know, they'll take you about one second to get this thing off of me. And, and top surgery, it's like, I, here's my idea, it's my Shark Tank pitch for top surgery. I think that for every trans or uh, non-binary person who gets their tops off, a pair gets donated to a person in need. You know what I mean? Like Tom's for tits. Why are we not, why are we putting these beautiful tits in a landfill when they could go to someone like me who could really use them? You know what I, you know what I mean? A lot of Oz. I'm fine. I, uh, I, do you guys know what an EGOT is? An EGOT? EGOT? Well, uh, EGOT is where you have an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award, and Believe it or not, I am almost an EGOT. I have slept with people named Emmy, Oscar, and Tony. I just have Grammy left. Might be a little bit difficult. Cause she's dead and uh, I don't have digging arms. But, any casket's an open casket if you want it to be, so. 